manage to get that one though. Let's do make it a 4-3 in favor of Snook and Nose. However, Renewal, I'm sorry, secretly will find them bullets by Shate, and he goes down. So at three on three now with a minute 45 to go. It was a bit of a mistake coming down into there that late probably. Uh, but, you know, it worked, and he got the kill. Good call here by Snookin. Yeah, they don't have a Thatcher or anything to take this out, so they're going to have to do it the hard way. But they do have a, a – well, they did have a Twitch drone, but unfortunately they lost Twitch early on. So this is going to be a little bit hard in that C4. Oh, and a good <laughs> toss here by Shate. He's going to take out Meepy, grab a headshot on a lackey. Last man alive is going to be Leon. The sub for Snookin knows. Can he clutch this out? He's got 35 seconds to do it. Although with the 5.56 five, dead accuracy here, he might be able to pull it out. This is definitely going to be his first big test. Oh, he grabs the headshot there to Panari. He's now going to swing on over to Office, which we still have Boonsy here. He's got the mirror window intact. However, he's going to all the way go into the archives. And now Leon looking to pick up the kill. Can he grab Shate? Oh, he takes him down to about three health. Goes in, hits the Elamine, and Shate picks up a 3K. I, I mean, this is pretty normal where the bathroom actually isn't that useful in terms of upstairs pressure. Nice trade there between Vision and uh, Vision Mav, Cameraman, and uh, whomever. Cameraman just got another killer. Another, he actually downed him outside. Looks as though he's been spotted on out. Here comes a C4 toss. Panic is going to bite the dust. Last man alive is going to be Sexy Cake against Cameraman. One, Sexy Cake is right up above. Sees him, gets the headshot. Cameraman with a 4K to end the round. Team Font. Wins round number one here. Wonderful job. That was we'll say that there's basically going to have to be the attackers need to push in in the last 25 seconds. Zig's going to be above. Diffuser's going to be in the hands of Wag. Nesk holding from below, looking for the shots as to the first person going to move in forward, which is going to be Wag. He's going to try to go for the plant. C4 tossed on over, and that will oh. down him. With 10 seconds left to go, BZD picks off Nesk. Zig's going to grab the frag there on a psycho. He's the last man standing in a one on four. Who is going to try to challenge this? And he goes down as well. Zig going to come on over, go for a shot. He's going to get that one as well. No more time, and the defender's going to win this one. Look at that, Black Dragons. Just doing work and unfortunately not able to do what actually mattered and get that diffuser planted. BRK walks away with a tremendous victory. I don't think I've ever seen a clutch where someone just leaves three injured players down. As <laughs> you can see, there are technically four defenders set up right now to stop this AWOL push, including the Echo Drone. As the disruption comes out here, the C4 is going to be the response for most wanted. It will take out two players before England rushes in, gets King Leo, and starts to back out as the Echo Drone comes down. And what a play that was. Now Chala is going to grab England 4v2, favoring most wanted. And these rounds are as back and forth as the trades that we've seen this round as well. 20 seconds is all it's going to take for one of these teams to bust the stalemate. And Elevate is going to have to push in if they want to win round number seven. You can see Laxine comes in right into the waiting arms of Trippin. And wow, Trippin, a 4K that round. Easily He's going to take it out Rizraz as part of that as well. And there's that Jaeger who kept re-peaking, finally getting taken out. Avian with a great grenade kill into Kings, but traded right back by Lusty on that Vector, who also gets a second one under Brian. Great headshots on his part. Just needs to finish the job more. Legion's still doing some work after he's dead, though. Get one of those Legion traps that you just heard go off, giving a little bit of intel to Lusty, who's trying to play it tight. Ace is trying to cover his flank as well, so he doesn't get flanked from the security side. But it is a tough fight here in the 2v2s. Aces takes enough damage to drop, but not out just yet. Lusty decides to trade that back onto Eclipse easily. Low on health, could get finished off with a C4 here. Gets blinded, but not pushed on aggressively enough. There's easily finishing off Aces. It is all down to Lusty Attack here with about maybe 34 health, unfortunately. Lusty. For easily. Lusty actually has it in him to finish that off. Now as he shows most on defense. You can see here Shate setting himself up for a C4. Will Evil Geniuses be ready for this? They're gonna go for the flame or the excuse me, the Thatcher, and then the Hibana. And MVK is gonna go prone and he will catch that C4. Shate evening things out a little bit for or actually establishing a lead now for Ents. It's 20 that seconds, and you see that Ents still holds an advantage, even though Panari has only about 40 health left. Canadian will be denied a push in as Panari gets Necrox, but Young and Canadian add to that, and now we have a 2v2. Young is inside, Panari on a shred of health. Shate, the question mark, he looks up, a nice flick shot and a double kill. Shate is gonna make his team take round number one. What an excellent double kill there from Shate. We have seen some incredible things from this player. There it is, looks like Chapstick, last man alive, gonna be inside of the freezer. 
He is now being swarmed around. He's got people on the left, people in front, people to the side. He tags one. Can he tag the other here, though? Looking for Thinking Nade. Misses the shot. Takes both. Oh, oh and Thinking Nade's only one bullet left to leave. Oh, yes, look, at that look at that chapstick with a 3K clutch. It's going to be 3 0 right now. Element's going to lead the way. Chapstick, I don't know what you drank if it was some of the prune juice that Adam had earlier, but it was well worth it. How did he win that? This map. So it's entirely possible that they're going to be able to make this start uh, going back in their favor, and there it is, Chate with a kill into England, but it's a huge get. I mean, it's, it's, it's honestly so much in favor of Elevate. Yeah, right now, I mean, they still have their Blackbeard, they have their Ash, you've got the destruction from above with Shuttle, which means a minute and 15 seconds left to go is going to be Elevate trying to get into position, trying to open up as many angles into sight as possible. Boonsy does have his gas grenade, oh. Shuttle, though, gets taken down from Shate from above, and this is likely where you're going to have to get the... Oh, there's the hip fire shot. Nice kill by Wilkie. This is going to go back in favor of El or of Ent, possibly. Laxon gets that trade frag, though, onto Wilkie. Now a two-on-two. Boonsy still with three gas grenades and 15 seconds to go. That looks like it might have been Chapstick eating a a couple bullets in that skirmish, they're not gonna have to move on over. And it looks as though with 45 seconds to go, we are gonna have shot to try to come around for a nice flank. He gave away his position inside of the archives, and now he's getting all the way into the hallway. Looking for Chapstick. Solon gets the shot, a nice 3k for Shate. He's got one more to go for a four. Laxing could clutch this though. He still has plenty of time, but he's gotta deal with one more gas grenade gonna be coming from Boonsi. Looking here, there are 20 seconds on the board. You have Shate moves back onto site, but that line of sight that he killed Chapstick from is forcing Laxing to look that way. Last Gaskin is going to force this down to five seconds for the push. And we are going to have a nice collapse, nice crossfire. Flashbang's going to go in. He's prepping it here, throws it on forward, and now he's moving on in. Shate's coming around. He gets the 4K, and that's going to be Ents taking this to overtime on map number two. What a clutch from Ents. And again, like you said, Shate really stepping up on this map specifically in that round to put his team in a spot to bring it into overtime, and they've done just that. Worked now, a bit for them. You can see it. It looks like Zig is actually setting himself up for uh, maybe a C4. Yeah, this is a predetermined C4 here. If you, you can see, if uh, panel one to two gets opened up, either one of them really, then this C4 will go and kill the thermite if he attempts to go for the second panel after that first thermite detonation. I love this setup here from Zig. You can see it was perfectly aligned. Definitely a pre, uh, premeditated C4. We'll see if uh, Red Groove opts to open up. Actually, wait a minute. That's not going to go through a panel. That's going to go through the open mirror window. Oh, wow. There is no potential for the attack to open up this wall right now oh, because so of that smart. C4. The Red Groove thermite charge is straight up going to uh, get a, it's going to get him killed if he plans it. <laughs> what are we witnessing? Uh oh, here Red it comes. Groove, and the C4 and Red comes goes out, down. Of course. Oh, no. Huge mistake from Room factory. This I could go in favor here of Ant if they stay alive. Shate, however, does take a couple bullets into the back. Beside it goes for them refrags, but he misses his target. Comes on oh, out to Shate, picking up a double kill. This was a five on two. It's now a one on two with Zephyr. Last man alive. He's very low health. If he misses his fall, it could be to his death. He will not be able to pick up the diffuser. There's not enough time. He goes for the kill, but Shate gets the triple kill there, and that's going to be Ant securing the still, keeping it around, winning a five two deficit man count to turn it into their favor, 2-0. Smoke unsuccessful. It will take out the planter in Chapstick, but amazingly, the diffuse plant is still down. That must have just been a little bit of a delayed smoke, and unfortunately for Ents, they now have the clock against them. Three on three, three on two, now a shot to get in one. He doesn't realize that Sky still is up there. So now England's gonna be at the bottom of the server stairs. Sky's there, gets another kill, shot day! What a wonderful job now. England's gonna be at the bottom of the server stairs. Boonsy is gonna take that shotgun over to him. Gonna come right around, gets killed off. They now know exactly where he is. Shot comes around, grabs a three K. Yes, That's gonna be plenty of time here. Shot is gonna get this round. It's gonna be tied three, three now. Another defensive round one here for both teams. And ends it. Thanks to the Ash and even the Mira window, second one will get taken out. Double kill from Nesk as he is getting better and better more. The more blood he gets, the better he gets at the game. And now Eclipse going for the 1v1. Can't take it out. Easily will refrag and headshot, leaving only two alive easily. in Avian grenade rolls right onto Easily, barely escaping. Jaws of the fragmentation nade. And for the second, sprays straight up headshot now, cleans up Nesk, leaving only two alive. A 2v2, and now these hatches might turn sour against the defense before to have opened them up. Easily goes in for the headshot. Yuk is now taken down. Last man alive is being echoed as well. Sledge low on HP, and Bullet is just one shot away. Ten seconds left, and the spray down from Easily wins out the round. What a man, what a play here. 
I don't know if he sees it go up, oh, but they echo. will miss it. They keep missing the Yokai drone as Geo is able to pick off King Leo. And we're gonna see a C4 here. Oh, it's only gonna get one in Trippin, but another from King from Geo. That is three now as he gets Chala. Only Thinking Nade and Redeemer left. Skies picks up Thinking Nade. 4v1 looking like an overtime is in our future unless Redeemer can clutch this one out with 45 seconds in round number eight left to play. Smoked off. One Candela will go out. Pre-fire the spot where you know the Mira is at, but Geo peeks around smartly into overtime we go. A beautiful 4K to answer Trippins. What's with these what we've seen from them at almost every single finals. It's happening again. It shouldn't be happening again. They have been so strong so far, and Shaq Day gonna get the one tap to try and bring his team back. Yes, please, more of that, Shaq Day. Thank you very much.